How to install Google Chrome in Debian-like system with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. In order to install Google Chrome on a Debian-like system, we need to perform three different steps. The first step is to download the GPG signature key for the repository. You are going to use the ansible.builtin.apt underscore key ansible module. This encrypted key verifies the genuinity of the packages and the repository and guarantee that the software is the same as Google releases. The second step is to add the Google Chrome repository to the distribution. It's an extra website where APT, your distribution package manager, look like for software. You are going to use the ansible.builtin.com apt underscore repository ansible module. The third step is to update apt cache for the available packages and install Google Chrome using the ansible.builtin.apt ansible module. Seems too complicated. It is not. I will show you. For the ansible.builtin.apt underscore key ansible module, I'm going to use two parameters, URL and state. The URL parameter specifies the URL of the repository GPG signature key and the state verified that is present in our system after the execution. For the ansible.builtin.apt underscore repository ansible module, I'm going to use two parameters, repo and state. The repo parameter specify the repository parameters and the state verify that it is present in our system after the execution. For the ansible.builtin.apt ansible module, I'm going to use three parameters name, state, and update cache. The name parameter specifies the package name. Google Chrome in our use case and the state verify that is present in our system after the execution. Before installing the package the update underscore cache perform an update of the apt cache to ensure that the latest version of the package is going to be downloaded. Let's jump in a real-life Ansible playbook to install Google Chrome in Debian-like systems. Welcome to my editor. I will demonstrate you a simple playbook to install Google Chrome in our Ubuntu machine. First of all, let me specify the name of my play in my case, install Google Chrome. Then uh, I will target all the hosts in my inventory and I need a privilege escalation because only root user is able to install packages. I'm going to perform four different tasks. The first of all is to verify the installation of one library. In my case is install apt dash transport dash https 
this allow APT to download the HTTPS content. And I need to use APT with state latest because we want the latest version and update cache too. Then I'm going to add the APT signature of Google Chrome repository. Oh, I was missing the module here. Let me fix it with you. Ansible.builtin.apt is the module and state and update underscore cache parameters. So let me add the colon and here we are. For adding the GPG signature, I need to use ansible.bitin.apt underscore key with the two parameters URL. Let me copy and paste this from the official Google documentation and paste here. So HTTPS google.com slash linux slash linux signing key dot pub. Uh, the state need to be present because I'm expecting to be saved in my target system. Uh, then let me uh, add another task, add repository into sources list. And I'm going to use ansible.builtin.com apt repository module instead with some parameter the first is repo and let me copy and paste this from google page <clears throat> here we are this is the parameter for this uh, new repository creation let me verify it's one space yes the state will be present and the file name will be google dash chrome is pretty explicative <clears throat> the first task is the real installation of google chrome finally so install google dash chrome and let me specify dash stable there are also dash dev or other different flavor but i would like to keep the stable version ansible.builtin.apt and the name will be uh, google-chrome-stable let me add this uh, as a string and what else i need the state to be latest because i think you would like to have the latest version of this package and update cache true which means that it need to be update the apt cache before so here we are this is a simple playbook target all the debian like system so debian ubuntu uh, and all the other distribution four tasks first of all let me enable https downloading download the public key add the repository and download the package are you curious to see in action? Let's jump to the console. So let me target my Ubuntu machine. First of all, let me connect to this machine with SSH DevOps, that is my user, and ubuntu.example.com as domain. This is uh, as SB release uh, minus A is uh, Ubuntu 20.04 focal latest release. Uh, let me switch to root and verify that Google Chrome is not present on this machine. So APT cache search, no result for Google Chrome. Let me verify also the sources list that. Uh, is empty as you can see and what else let me read the sources list as you can see is a standard file uh, let me remove the comment so it will be more clear to read so we we'll grab and remove all the line but starting with uh, a comment and is it pretty normal uh, machine with uh, universe main and multiverse so now let me execute my playbook against uh, let's 
dash e ubuntu inventory and the file that we were editing in my editor install chrome for debian like is going to perform four tasks i'm expecting a change of status which means that some action are executed on my target machine four tasks and the first of all is to update the cache of apt is going to take some while just to refresh from the repository and task one was successful so successfully install https transport successfully download also the apt signing key successfully adding the text file with uh, google chrome repository and now is going to update again the cache and install google chrome and all the relative dependency is going to take a while depend on your connection and how many packages you need to install as you this is a fresh install so it's going to take uh, some moment the result will be a change of status and uh, I'm expecting Google Chrome successfully installing on this machine. This is task number four or four, so will be the last one. The amount of time depends uh, by the performance of your network and also the performance on your machine. Now the result is changed, so let me verify the hidden potency running against the script. This time I'm expecting only OK status, which means that all these four tasks are already executed and no action are performed on the target machine. Here we are, we have OK status of all these tasks. Let me connect to the target machine to verify that uh, this package is really installed. So let me switch to root apt cache. Let me search for Google Chrome. Previously was empty the result. Now we have beta, stable and unstable available. Let me also search for more information. Here we have uh, more information about uh, the version, version 94 currently, and all the relative dependency. As you can see also another important verification is about sources. Uh, yes, let me list and not cut. So ls. And uh, we have one more repository. Oh, actually two. Google Chrome list that uh, as uh, the repository of Chrome and the other is the same. Another verification that we can do is check it out if the package is really installed. To do this I only need apt list and the name of the package was google chrome slash dash stable and here we are, it's successfully installed. Now you know how to install Google Chrome in Debian-like systems with Ansible. Subscribe to channel not to miss the next episode of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.